Hey, good afternoon. It's Carl with Win With Grin RV Reviews. We're going to be taking a look at the 2023 Tiffin Allegro Bus 45 FP. I think you're going to really like this one. Check it out. Well, here it is, a 2023 Tiffin Allegro Bus 45 FP, 10,000 watt Onan generator. That's enough to power every everything inside here. And backlit, you've got your backlit back in behind. You've got this, you've got your undercoach lighting. 50 years in business. Let's ring the doorbell and see if anybody's home. If you were standing here, you would have heard that little doorbell. Truma, this is a outdoor refrigerator or freezer. You can set the temperature for this right down here. So you can set the temperature if you want it to be 38, 32, that's in Celsius, obviously. Um, two slide out trays underneath. And remember, we're just giving a quick walk around here. If you guys want specific detailed information, uh, go ahead and shoot me a quick message on my phone. These doors, each door has a locking door. So from inside the coach, we can lock any compartment door. The exterior TV, this is not a manual door. This is a power door. So you don't want to just re reach up here and pull that down because this is completely powered. Uh, this, would, this will close automatically. So everything's done by remote. Wanted to show you real quick, like inside here, every Tiffin motorhome comes standard with a SureGuard surge protector. That does eliminate if you've got somebody with an old uh, Winnebago open road motorhome that's 30 years old down the way here trying to plug in their motorhome and they send a spike down the line, that surge protector right there, that surge protector will take care of any, any power issues. So this rear tire, let me get you at a little bit of an angle here. You're gonna notice this, uh, this tire is more of a deep dish wheel, and this one is not. This one looks very, very similar to the front. This tire will actually turn, uh, helping the back end come around a corner. Got an emergency egress right here. And remember, I'm not giving you a lot of technical stuff. If you want it, give me a jingle. I'd be happy to get it over to you. Here's our chassis disconnect. So when we put this into storage, we turn this, disconnects any any power from coming out of that coach. Cummins engine, love the rear cap on the Tiffin bus. If you look up top, you notice that air spoiler is pointing basically straight down. The air comes across the top of the coach and hits the spoiler and blows straight down the back of the coach. Now, we don't have any air functioning, which means we don't, we're not sucking air back in through a radiator here. If you come around the side, this is a side draft radiator for that 450 Cummins. This side draft radiator is enormous for the size of this engine, and it has a direct drive to the engine. So if the engine is running and functioning, there is air going across this radiator, keeping the engine at proper temperature. Here's your power control reel. You, uh, for this power cord, right here's your switch. You would hit that, brings your power cord all the way in, your 50 amp cord. And you notice this here, that little exhaust is not for our diesel engine. It's not for the generator up front. It is for the 450D AquaHot system. The 450D AquaHot system, this allows us to preheat the engine uh, before leaving. If it was a 400 AquaHot, we would not have the function to preheat the diesel engine. Here's our water bay. Again, power reel here on this side. Notice the light just came on. It's everything's motion activated on the bus. Sani flush right here, outdoor shower, which has not been installed. Whole house water filtration. Water pump when we're operating on 12 volt. Notice way back down in there, that little red valve. That's gonna be an emergency dump for your fresh water tank if you need to put it in storage. We've also got solar up here. We can turn our pump switch on. We've got 110. And right down here, we talked about AquaHot just a minute ago. This is going to set the temperature for our basement. So we can just dial this in, turn that to wherever you want, and that basement will stay at whatever temperature you have that set for. So we can have the coach upstairs, and I call upstairs up here in the living room. 
We can have the coach upstairs at 72 degrees and we can have the basement set at say 55. So we, our bottles of water that we have in here are not freezing. So this one does have the stainless steel trim package all the way around. If you notice on the back of this coach, we do not have a ladder system. If you notice right here on the back corner, and you're gonna start seeing this on some tipping buses, let me get zoomed in on that. That little piece right there will take a lippert, if you read really close there, sorry for the shakiness, that's where your ladder's gonna go. This ladder connects right onto there, and uh, we do not have to have that ugly aluminum ladder going up the back of a very, very expensive coach. Okay, let's step inside to take a look, show you guys what we've got going on here on this brand new 45 FP. Notice the solid stair system comes out, is all chrome, matches the chrome all the way around the bottom of the coach, and that is solid when you step on it. Love the entrance on these. The floor plan on this is wonderful. Plenty of space. And if you guys can listen really, really carefully, I'm just gonna stop for just a second. I have the air conditioning on in here. And this air conditioning package is a whisper quiet air conditioning. If you notice up here on the ceiling, we do not see the bottom of any air conditioning unit. They've all been lifted and put on the roof. We have one channel here that goes from front to back that sucks hot air off of the ceiling. The other channel from front to back is dropping cold air in. So the cold air comes into the house and then the hot air rises, gets sucked in and cooled. And guess what? It's a very efficient air conditioning system. Now, if you take a look at these theater seats, oh my gosh, these things are about as wide as two people. And I'm not joking, you could almost sit two people side by side in each chair. They are powered. The armrest does open and there's a little bit of storage in there. Love the cabinetry. Now remember, Tiffin Motorhomes, this cap, the cabinetry throughout this coach is made at Tiffin Motorhomes. Notice a little sound bar hiding up in there. But yes, all cabinetry is made at the factory. Now, down in the basement, if you notice, we had two chairs that are very, very similar to these two chairs here. And those two chairs are folded up and they're wrapped in plastic. This table will extend out. If you just give it a little pull, it'll extend out and you can actually set four people at that table. Over here in the galley, you've got USB charging right here and you've got regular 110, and you can close it down like that if you want to have some induction cooktop. This is the true induction. There is an upgrade to a Wolf cooktop if need be. Pull out tray. Notice there is a power outlet on that pull out tray if you need some power right there. And of course, at this level of coach, we are gonna have a Fisher Paycal dishwasher instant hot water on this pay as you go uh, dish network tv that's awesome because when you put the coach in storage you can disconnect or shut down your dish tv they do not charge you when it's shut down and if you're going to get fired back up and head out you get back online you tell them you're heading out notice uh, tile and tile normally and in, in a slide out area this is the slide out Normally, this would have carpeting right here. And that carpeting can get pretty ugly over the course of four or five years. Now we've got tile on tile and we have a plastic strip right here that's the same color almost as the tile. This one needs to be cleaned a little bit. But that is, uh, basically gives us a flat floor. So when you're sitting here or you have two legs on the tile and two legs in the slide out, your chair is not at an angle, it's completely flat. Love the new management system. It's asking me for an update. We'll do that later. But this management system, we're, we're on the shades here. So if I, if I hit master cockpit, you see where it says cockpit shades. Let's just touch that. And we turn around, we look up here towards the front. 
See by the entry door there? They are coming down. Now, the reason the front window is not coming down is the dash is currently on, so the coach is telling the computer system that, hey, don't lower the front blind because I'm getting ready to drive. Now, I just had the chassis on for sake of example. Let's get back over here to the control panel. So if I did not have the ignition in the on position, when I click that, all of the blinds will go down. So for example, in the master bedroom, I can, I can knock that down. Here's the cockpit shades all the way throughout the coach. Let me just run you through this really quick. Here's our power system. Notice we've got uh, exterior temperature down in the compartment bays at 73 degrees. So if you were in cold climate, it's gonna give you exterior temperature and it's also gonna tell you what's going on down in the basement of the coach. Here's our chassis batteries. We're at 100% on house. It will calculate the time with the current power being used. Now, right now I'm plugged in and the coach is indoors. So there's very, very little power being used. Notice we've got three zone air conditioning with floor heat. So we've got floor heat here. Uh, we've got floor heat here at the back. We've got the rear temperature, the mid temperature, and the front temperature. Some people may want to sleep in the rear bedroom at say 70 degrees and you may want to keep the front house part at say 74 or 75 degrees. Fresh water, gray, black, and what kind of diesel fuel we have on board. We got 30, 37% diesel fuel. The reason that is, that is critical to be showing on this panel is if you're running your generator quite a bit or you're running aqua hot and it's using the diesel fuel which is the top burner right there so i just turn that on i'll turn the electricity off that will burn diesel fuel and generate your hot water and also get ready to preheat the engine here's our generator so generator off now i could go to auto gen start now it's going to give me a warning because auto gen start by enabling that this generator will start and charge the batteries if they get in a low, uh, if these batteries start getting low or critical, it'll use the remaining power, start the generator, bring the batteries back up to, uh, back up to full power. Then the generator will shut off. You'll get a message here saying that the generator has started while we were away from the coach. We can also set the generator, the auto gen start. You, hopefully you can see that there, AGS, auto gen start. Uh, we can also set that for temperature inside the coach. So if it starts getting hot inside the coach, generator starts, roof air conditioning comes on. Check this out. Shows our bolts, house, chassis, shows our solar. There's no solar going on. I'm indoors right now. But this has got all the controls that you need to function everything on here from aqua hot, Fresh water is at 100%, gray, black, and diesel is at 36%. The reason we show diesel back here in the house is for the generator options. One thing I really like, if we go to the lighting page, this lighting page, for example, this section right here, I can turn all of those off by using this one click. That turns off all of those lights. And then of course, if I hit it again, all of them back on. So I don't have to individually come in and do each light I can do sections of lighting if I want there's the bathroom there's the bedroom here's your energy management screen remember we also have let me go back here to the very back where it says setup uh, ceiling fans TV lift rear TV you can lock all of the doors you can lock the entry door this just this new system is phenomenal. Now on the bus, all of our shades, master shades, you can hit one button in the cockpit, it'll drop them all. If I hit the main button, it'll drop everything in here. So if you look up front, I just hit that button, all of the shades are coming down. Just a great, great system that Tiffin put in place here. Yeah, let's see what else we got going on. Here's our climate control. So it's really quite nice. If you want to sleep at 71 degrees, you can set the bedroom for, so we can say rear, 69 degrees. We're going to keep the mid at 68. 
the front at 71. So three zone climate control, you can run heat pump, air conditioning, furnace. Now remember, furnace, there's no propane on board, so furnace is our aqua hot system, which generates hydronic heating. Hydronic heating is the best heat source for a human. Um, also, we've got our heated floor system here, and then it shows you your interior temperatures of the coach. Remember, outside, I was telling you about the aqua hot controls the power in the basement or the heat in the basement, excuse me. The heat in the basement, that's going to be set outside. There is a way in this new panel and I just have not found it yet, my apologies, but there is a way to check to see what the basement temperature is. Here is the little half bath. Really not a bad little size bathroom here. Lots of cupboards inside. They cover up the the fans with a nice, uh, like here in the kitchen. Notice we don't see the bottom of the air conditioning unit because this is whisper quiet air conditioning. So the AC unit has been put up onto the roof and one channel sucks hot air off of the ceiling. The other channel drops cold air in. So you've got hot air going up and you've got cold air coming down. It's very, very efficient. I'm gonna spin this around. Refrigerator, water and ice in the door. Gorgeous refrigerator. Water and ice. Filtered for the second time. Remember, we also have a full house filtering system. Little wine fridge, or if you want to have uh, bottles of water or anything there, you can. Wonderful floor plan. Here we go, master, be master bedroom, or primary suite, we call it. I love the window behind the bed here. That's an excellent, let me back up. And that bed is a smart bed, so it's tilted up right now. It's, a, it's waiting for the slides to come in. We have to put the bed in this attitude in order to get the slides to come in all the way. Now, in order to make the bed, I can drop this flat for sleeping and then the bed comes all the way out and it makes it very, very easy to uh, make the bed. Another thing I like is the flooring they've done. I know this one's a little bit dirty. They've got this sheet right here. And so we basically have a flat floor. Uh, instead of seeing our slide out or having carpet up here, they've gone with tile on this side and tile here. Fireplace does heat. You can set that by temperature. You can also set it by time. We've got a disappearing TV in here, which will come up right here. And we've got a his and hers wardrobe on each side. Here, let's take a peek here in the master bath. Shower is enormous. Love the showers they're doing in Tiffin Motorhomes. Two heads up top. That, this actually will open with a clear. So you got a nice little sky. You got a place to sit down if you need to shave the legs or whatever you need to do. Now remember, I talked about the emergency egress, emergency egress right here by the toilet. And you just open that, this will flop down and you can get out of here quickly if need be. Here in the master closet, notice the LED light bar here. When your clothes are hanging on here, you can see all the way across with this light lighting up. It's very, very nice to have your clothes lit. But remember, we are in the master closet. I'm gonna turn this all the way around. And of course our safe. And you can program that to whatever, uh, whatever you like. <clears throat> Washer dryer, little storage up top. Anyway guys, like I said, please feel free to email me. This is the brand new 45 FP Tiffin bus. Uh, I can send you over the build sheet on this or I can tell you what I have coming from the factory. I do have quite a few Tiffin buses currently being produced. If you could give me a jingle. My direct number 480-703-2352. Great dash here. Now this dash is custom customizable. Excuse me, the reason we've got red over here is this coach has not been started for a couple days, so our air is down. It 
if I were to try to start the coach right now, it would give me an alarm saying do not move because the air brakes are not sufficient in pressure. Let me open this back up. Here's our, if you can see this, this top moves so I can spin this dial left and right and then I can use this. Three position engine brake. So you can turn the engine brake on and off here. And of course, low, medium, and high. Six speed Allison transmission, power window on the driver's side. You need to get a little fresh air or you need to talk to somebody outside the coach when you're pulling into your RV park. Smart steering wheel, which is backlit. And remember I talked about the little uh, mouse pad here, the thing that looks like a mouse. So if you look on the screen, onto the right side where the uh, engine RPM is. Apologize for that, I'm having an issue with my camera system. And this will allow us to get in and change certain functions. So we can get in here and we can look at tire pressures, acceleration, accelerator position, leveling system is all done through the dash, not on a separate system. Saves on wiring. Adaptive cruise control is currently set at long distance. So this one does, uh, notice the lanes over here. Uh, this does have your lane and adaptive cruise for the vehicle in front of you. Really, really a great safety feature. Brightness, we can change the brightness of the dash all the way down, whatever. If it's nighttime, you might want to have it really low so it's not just blasting at you. And let's see if we can go to some other areas here real quick. Settings, if we uh, like the needle color, look at the needles, how they're white. Needle color's red. So we can change needle colored from white to red, orange, yellow, blue, green, magenta, and aqua. I'll leave it on aqua for now for the next salesperson. And uh, here, two huge, huge monitors. And on the passenger's area, the passenger has a full screen. Let me see if I can get this to light up. But the passenger can control the video and navigation system from here and then it would then populate over here so the driver doesn't have to mess around with putting uh, you know addresses in and all of that so here is another panel this is the exact same panel that's there's two of them on each side of the bed this is right by the passenger seat and yeah, so she can control interior climate control as you're going down the road when your generator is functional Here's where we would turn on our Wi-Fi system. These are, let me just get this fired up here. So this is our awning system. Remember, this has got a paramount awning system. So it's basically two awnings from front to back with a split right in the center. And since I'm done inside here and I'm not giving you all kinds of technical stuff, I'll pop out here and show what I'm talking about. So up on the very top of the coach, starting right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So right here is where our awning system will start, and it goes all the way back to the very, very back of the coach, right here. So this awning system will cover uh, from front to back, and then you also have a separate awning, which is a stair-step awning, comes out right over top to keep your steps and stuff dry. Anyway, guys, any questions on this coach, please feel free to email me, text me. I would be happy to send you any information on any Tiffin product. Again, this is Carl Gwynn with Win with Grin RV Reviews. Thanks for watching. P would please love a subscribe and would love to have you come by our new facility and look at these coaches indoors outside the weather.